Halifax tonight, a teaching assistant's been made an ambassador to tackle discrimination by schools across Europe. Andre Ola's based at the Leicester College, where he got straight A-level A grades last year. It's only eight years since he moved here from Slovakia, unable to speak English. His family left after Andre was banned from mainstream education because he was Roma. Our social affairs correspondent, Jeremy Ball, reports. Coming to school in Beaumont Lees changed Andre's life. He used to be a pupil here at Babington Academy. Right, so there are requirements of what they can actually do. Now, five years on, he's working here as a teaching assistant and he's about to go to university. So they pick smart people? Andre's success would have been unthinkable if his family hadn't moved from Slovakia, where he remembers one teacher targeting him simply for being from the Roma minority. She put me against the wall and she got the other kid to slap me uh, because apparently I'm Roma and we're supposed to get punished with the bad ones. There's a stigma out there that the Roma don't like to learn. Um, they are, you know, uh, hooligans and things like that. So when I went to school, um, Due to my background, they wanted to transfer me to a special school. So what I am trying to do is motivate children to actually understand that education is valuable. This is me studying there in the school. And now this, an illustrated version of Andre's life story to show how much difference Babington made. It's part of an education project run by the Council of Europe. Oh, this is you actually. They've appointed Andre as their first ambassador for Roma school children. And with his former teacher, he's now advising schools and governments in several countries. In Eastern Europe, it's very simple. There's widespread discrimination. The most notorious quote I've got in my collection is a head teacher that looked at me and said, what you don't understand, Mr. Penfold, is the Roma has a low IQ, a high tendency towards mental retardation, and you can't do anything for them, and why are you here? Well, the recipe is very simple. If you treat them with dignity, treat them with respect, and have high expectations for them, they can learn the same as any other group of children. Andre hasn't stopped aiming high. Well, you're the one that's in the yeah, helicopter. I'm right here. And he's taking that literally. Here we were like, like this. He's been learning to fly a helicopter, and his goal now to become a professional no, pilot. That's the thing about England, isn't it? If you have the motivation and the drive, you can really become anything. Who did then? I mean, it just opened up the whole world to me, to be honest. It's a bit different in Slovakia. That won't happen in Slovakia, even if I tried my best. What do you think? What a difference five years makes. That is Andre Ola, then and now, and Jeremy Ball is with us. So what about the, the other Roma children? He's doing well, but what about the others? Well, he's not the only one breaking the mould. Uh, Andre is one of four Roma children from Babington who are off to university this year. Now, Mark Penfold reckons that's as many as across the whole of Slovakia. And that's why they had the Slovakian education minister uh, visiting Beaumont Lees earlier this summer. They've also been advising schools in three other East European countries and in other cities here in the UK. And they're also talking to politicians at Westminster and in Strasbourg as well. So why are Roma children doing so well at Babington? Well, there are two things, they reckon. First of all, what happens in school, there's a big push to get them into mainstream classes as quickly as possible, rather than isolating them or sending them to special schools. Now, they reckon that helps them catch up more quickly, and they reckon it also improves the whole school's results. But the other thing is what happens at home. They're getting parents involved. They're sending these kids home with English DVDs so they can improve their language skills. And in fact, Andre has made such an impression now that he's being filmed for a documentary. Oh, wow. <laughs> Jeremy, thank you very much. Brilliant.